endometriosis and is quite a um, popular topic at the moment. And now we are talking about 10% of women, they get this diagnosis, but uh, because it's just been a few years now when uh, we start to get noticed that this is happening, I think the percentage is higher and I think it's going to grow also. It's not that unco uncommon as we might think. So what, what is endometriosis? Um, so endometrium, do you remember from presentation of Deborah? Endometrium is the inner layer uh, in the uterus, suddenly growing outside the uterus. Any other parts in the pelvic floor? Well, not all, not not only can grow also other places, but is often a painful condition in which uh, tissue that's similar to the inner lining is growing outside the uterus, what I already said, and it's uh, often, often uh, affects uh, ovaries, fallopian tubes, uh, tissue lining of the pelvis in general, and uh, sometimes can also grow uh, outside like a liver, lungs, or even brain. Symptoms. For sure, painful periods. Uh, endometrium is stimulated by estrogen uh, and uh, progesterone, mainly estrogen. Uh, that's why during the period when it's coming, the symptoms are going to get much higher. Um, pelvic pain, cramping uh, might start before uh, bleeding, during, and sometimes also stays for a bit longer. Of course, connected to the lower back pain and stomach pain in general. Also, not only in the lower abdomen, but can also affect the whole abdomen. Pain uh, while intercourse, usually described as very deep pain, like para paralyzing from the inside while penetration. So we can get penetration, but when, when there is like very deep penetration, that is going to cause uh, pain. Pain with bowel movements or urination, depending on where the uh, this um, uh, knots of endometrium are going to be located. So it's not always like this, but can happen. Um, yeah, and also increasing during during menstruation. Uh, excessive bleeding or very little bleeding. So we have both, like very opposite. Again, depending because endomet um, endometriosis can be also inside the uterus. Uh, so that can also cause that the, the endometrium is not going to be expelled correctly fully. That's why maybe we can have a period for only two or three days or very excessive bleeding. Both, both can, can be possible. Uh, and the blood often, but again, not always, is very dark, um, almost black sometimes with a bit of clothings. So it's not like a very fresh blood coming out. Uh, but that's also, uh, we are talking here about uh, adenomyosis, which is endometriosis outside with inside of the uterus. So it can be a combo in here. And that, of course, causes uh, infertility, problems with getting pregnant. Usually, this is when women find out that they have endometriosis. Um, yeah. And uh, usually, sometimes they can get pregnant. It just gets a bit longer time. But sometimes they need extra, extra help. And uh, other symptoms like fatigue, diarrhea, constipation, bloating, uh, nausea, um, usually, again, more high during the period time. Uh, so we have it all over the place, basically. 